In Siberia, mysterious giant craters are suddenly opening up and scientists are faced with an absolute mystery. Sounds like the beginning of a science fiction movie, right? But that's exactly what's really happening right now. Stay tuned, because today we're diving into the fascinating world of the mysterious Siberian holes. Welcome, everyone. Imagine you're taking a leisurely walk through the Siberian tundra. Suddenly, you see something strange in the distance. A huge crater that seems to have appeared out of nowhere. Sounds incredible. Well, that's exactly what has happened multiple times in Siberia over the past few years, and it has caused quite a stir among scientists worldwide. The story began about a decade ago. The researchers first became aware of these strange formations and at the time did not think that we were dealing with a phenomenon that would pose a great mystery to us. But in the following years, more and more of these holes appeared, leaving the scientists with a mystery after all. What exactly are these craters and how do they form? An exciting new study has now been published on this topic. Anna Morgado from the University of Cambridge explains there are very, very specific conditions that make this phenomenon possible. We are talking about a geological niche here. Yes, a geological niche, so to speak. At first, it doesn't sound very exciting, but believe me, the truth is really fascinating. Because behind these craters lies a fascinating mechanism that gives us a deep insight into the secrets of permafrost. Permafrost. What is that, anyway? Imagine digging up the ground in Siberia. What you find there is not normal soil, but a layer that has been frozen for centuries or millennia, the permafrost. This permanently frozen ground covers large parts of the northern hemisphere and plays a crucial role in the climate, but the permafrost is slowly thawing, revealing many spectacular things like this baby mammoth. It is 30,000 years old and remarkably well preserved by the frost. This immediately makes me think about the possibility of extracting DNA and cloning mammoths. Then we could open a Jurassic Park, though without dinosaurs, but at least with mammoths. And with saber-toothed tigers, because they also recovered this baby saber-toothed tiger from the permafrost, which is about 35,000 years old. Let me know in the comments how you see it. Should we clone such extinct species and bring them back to life? Or should we keep our fingers out of nature? I'm very curious to know what you think. In any case, it is precisely this thawing that is key to understanding the mysterious craters. Because huge amounts of greenhouse gases are trapped in the permafrost, especially methane. When the ground thaws, the methane is released. But that alone doesn't explain the sudden emergence of the craters. The researchers around Anamogado have now developed a fascinating theory. They suspect that there are so-called cryopex beneath the thawing permafrost. Underground lens-shaped structures made of highly concentrated salt solution that do not freeze even at sub-zero temperatures. When meltwater seeps from the surface into these cryopex, a mechanism is created that scientists call osmotic pumping. Imagine it this way. The meltwater has a lower salt concentration than the cryopex. Imagine it like this. The meltwater has a lower salt content than the cryopex. This creates an osmotic pressure that draws more and more water into the pex. Over time, an enormous pressure builds up, which eventually becomes too great, and then bang! The frozen ground above breaks open, frozen baby mammoths fly through the air and one of those mysterious craters is created. Julian Cartwright, a geophysicist at the Spanish National Research Council, explains there are only two ways to trigger an explosion. Either you have a chemical reaction and it goes boom like dynamite exploding or you pump up your bicycle tire until it explodes. That's physics. By the way, to make my channel explode too, please leave a subscription and activate the bell. It's completely free. You'll never miss a new video again, and you'll help me immensely. Thanks, guys. You can already see we are dealing with a fascinating physical phenomenon here. But what does this mean for the future? The situation is not entirely safe, because during the formation of the craters, not only Earth is ejected, and baby mammoths, as well as large amounts of methane, are released. And methane is a potent greenhouse gas this could be a very rare phenomenon, but the amount of methane that is released could have a fairly large impact on warming. Thou, today, so what at first glance appears to be an exciting geological curiosity could have far-reaching consequences for the planet because the more the permafrost thaws, the more likely the formation of such craters becomes and with it the release of even more greenhouse gases. But how exactly does this process work? Let me explain it to you with an experiment that you can even try at home. All you need is a glass of water, some salt, and a raw egg. Fill the glass with water and add a lot of salt. This is our cryopex. Then carefully place the raw egg on top. What happens? The egg floats. This is because the salt solution has a higher density than the egg. Now comes the exciting part. 
slowly add normal water to the egg, you will see how the egg slowly sinks to the bottom while a layer of fresh water forms on top of the salt solution. This is exactly what happens in Siberia. The meltwater from above slowly penetrates the salty cryopex and if you let the experiment run long enough, you will even see small currents forming. The fresh water is slowly drawn into the salt solution just like the osmotic pumping in Siberia. But what do I do now with a glass after the experiment? Salt water? With an egg in it? Of course, this is just a simplified model. In reality, many other factors play a role. For example, the nature of the soil or the temperature. All this makes predicting the formation of craters a real challenge for science. Many of the craters are located in remote areas of Siberia, which are difficult to access. Furthermore, the craters are often unstable and can collapse at any time. Nevertheless, brave scientists venture into the craters. They take samples of soil and ice, measure the temperature, and analyze the composition of the air. Some researchers even use drones to create 3D models of the craters. This allows them to accurately measure the shape and size without putting themselves in danger. But it's not only geologists who are interested in the craters. Biologists are also fascinated. This is because the craters have very special conditions. It is humid, cool, and dark, perfect for certain microorganisms. Some scientists even speculate that we may discover completely new species in the craters. Ancient viruses are also suspected to be in the permafrost, which our immune system would react to completely unprepared if they were reactivated. So, it's best to stock up on toilet paper. Fortunately, scientists around the world are working to better understand this process. They are developing models to predict where and when new craters may form. Some are even researching ways to slow the thawing of the permafrost or to reduce the release of methane. I will keep you informed of any further developments. So feel free to subscribe to the channel now and activate the bell. And now we travel from Siberia to Turkey because a gigantic fissure is emerging under Turkey and scientists have now discovered what is causing it and when this fissure would completely tear the region apart. To find out everything about it, be sure to click on the video in the top right hand corner. It's super exciting. And in the bottom right hand corner, you will find another exciting topic related to space and science. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.